Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dora the Fluid Crafter and first and foremost I want to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. Thank you Miss Jackie from Crafty Pantaloons for giving me a nice shout out. Oh my gosh, that was amazing and girl I love you so much and you know I do. Um, I am going to link Miss Jackie down below just in case you guys didn't um, see her video or anything like that. Um, she actually gives quite a few names in her little inspiration video she did. So, with that being said, I'm going to link that video so that way you guys can also see her inspirations and if there's anybody in that list you guys would like to follow, hey, it's there. So, um, you guys know I'm doing a very unique project for um, Dot's Inspirational Shop. Um, it's still Dot Studio Designs, um, but they changed the name of their shop so they could be open all the time and they don't have to close and reopen because of the laws and stuff. So, um, I am doing their Vintage Lady Kit, and so I have been asking about a lap book um, for someone to kind of guide me in the right direction, maybe share some videos with me, but I haven't got any feedback yet on it. Um, so, I'm you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go for it. I, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just going to take you guys along. Now this will be my own personal one. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of memory keeping, a lot of journaling and all that good stuff. And I've got so much going on right now that this is what I need. I really, really need to do something like this. So, um, this is what I've done. <laughs> it, it's not like your average lap book okay um so this is what it will look like when i'm finished okay this section will be open okay so instead of having two books going in big spine on this side or whatever um it's this is going to be open and i'm going to put like a little closure here to latch it on and i'll have to do that um at the beginning before i do anything else so i know where my hole is um, that I want to do. So, um, I took an old gardening book and this here is just some chipboard and I made my own spine to kind of go along with this here. Um, the only issue that I'm having right now, I, you guys can follow along with me and make one yourself. Um, but use caution because like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I could mess up. So before you do along with me, see where I've messed up if I do and then you guys can correct it. Okay, so um, so here's my thoughts. Um, I'm not gonna, I covered this in paper because I wanted a base. This here has that real glossy cover on it and nothing likes to stick to it. But I found out that the sticky thumbs sticks to it so well and it doesn't come back up. Oh, yes, I'm going to have to get some more of that. So um, I just pretty much just kind of covered it to give it a base to glue to if that makes sense um, and just to kind of make it sturdier because here's what I'm going to actually cover the outside in ah, quilt <laughs> I actually let me move my coffee all the way I actually got this at a flea market um, someone's um, grandmother made this and they kept it in such good condition is what I've been told now I like I said, you know, I'm not 100% sure. I have washed this three times. Uh, and the reason being is because the first time and the second time is for the smell. To get the smell out. And the third time, I add baking soda and peroxide to try to get as many of these stains out. Now, these stains were everywhere. And so, these here little ones, like little coffee stains and things, um, those are the only ones that have not come out. But everything else has. And this is such... A beautiful quilt and you can see like little rips and stuff here and there but you know what I like that I think it's just authentic you know what I mean it just gives it that character and so I'm actually going to take um, a top portion of this 
because when this book lays out, it's pretty big. <laughs> um, and let me just grab some of this. So, you, you know, I could use either side because both sides is a print. But I want that side on the out, on the outer edge. And see, like this one here is ripped. But, you know, it's okay. I, I, you know what? I don't care about that. I, I like that, actually. So I'm going to lay this out for just a moment with you guys and see because I don't think the book is going to be all in frame anyways because when I roll it out it's like I said it's it's <laughs> it's pretty big okay so I've got the gist of it here put out let me see if I can flat there we go flatten it just a little bit more okay so now when you open this Oh, yes, that will work from end to end. And I can follow this line right here. Look at that. When I cut it, that's going to be perfect because I'm not going to go over like this. It'll, it'll just put too much on the spine, you know, for opening and closing it and things, I think. Because um, I'm going to be putting um, um, uh, um, uh, journaling areas in here. Um, but what I'm going to do is, like, this one will be a full journal area. But because this comes into the center, I'm only going to be putting, like, maybe one signature or something here. So one's going to be, you know, like, when you open it fully, one will be folded this way or like this or however, you know. So I might not bind it permanently. I might just... Um, attach it kind of like uh, Johanna does in her videos and um, I do think 49 Dragonflies also does that um, binding um, where they just tie it in so it's loose it's not a permanent um, so I could do that and then when I fill it up I can switch it out which is I, I think would be pretty cool and so this is going to come up corner like this so when you fold it when it folds up it will be like this and I'm going to add some pockets and fabrics and some maybe some laces and trims I think that's just going to look gorgeous and so yes I'm going to be doing that and this line here I could follow that line as well which makes it even better and so I'm going to fold this inside for a moment just so we can kind of see what it's going to look like okay so it would ha it would be like that how cool is that oh my gosh that's going to be that's going to be so cool be and all these colors on this quilt um go with the colors in the kit oh my gosh it's just amazing uh, and i when i found when i seen it i was like oh my gosh i have to have that for what I want to make. So this is going to be unique to me and my taste and things like that. So um, I'm thinking after um, I get the quilt on, because like I said, it's just going to be on the outside. The inside, I want to do kind of some collaging. See the, oh, it almost fits. Look, we're only a little bit off. <laughs> um, I wanted to do like some collaging and things like that. Just really make it my own. Some of the videos I might do speed ups on, but I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't think I'm going to cover it all um, in um, collage or decoupage or anything. Because this one here, the back page here, I want it to have uh, one of those... Um, what are they? It's one of the expandable pockets, you know, kind of like it has that little accordion piece in the middle where it will fold out. Um, so that way you can tuck more stuff. And I was kind of hoping to keep like my pictures and things. And don't mind my fingers. I have been doing videos and gluing today. So I apologize. Um, so, yes. Um, I was thinking about doing something like that here. And you know have it top to top and just have like a little fold over closure or something i'll have to look a video up on how to do that um so that is what i wanted to do and i just put these random colors like i said on here 
Um, and I just wanted to do something different, you know. Um, and this, like I said, this would just be two books or, you know. And when I did this here, um, I didn't really realize it at the time. But this is a soft spine, right? And so when I covered it in in paper, I strengthened this side, but not this side. So that hits on the edge, right? And it pulls this part of the spine over. So it might look sideways, if that makes sense. Like it might not look like it's straight. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you know, but it is what it is. So, um, that is what I'm working on. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update to say thank you for all my new subscribers. Say thank you to Miss Jackie. And um, just show you guys where I was um, and what I was going to do. So I'm going to um, attach the quilt to the outside. And then I'm going to come back. And we're going to work on how to lay this out. Because even though I want writing spaces here, I want some flip outs and flip ins and, you know, kind of like, um, kind of like how the mini albums, you know, you have your page, but then it opens and opens and opens and it's got all these compartments. That's what I want on this side and this side on the, you know, so that way I can put tags that I'm working on that I want to put in my journals or um, some special item like if my brother gave me something then I find it I would like to put it in here so I don't lose it um, you know things like that so um, I am going to do that I am going to put the fabric on the back like I said um, I already have um, some signatures that I want to put in here uh, put together um, like, but like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to bind them completely or not. Uh, but we're going to see. So this is going to be a vintage ladies journal. Uh, journal, black book type, folio thingamabob. Um, and that's why I wanted the quilt. Because, you know, ladies, vintage ladies, I mean, they sewed, they cooked, they, they cleaned, they, you know, they did everything. So I want it to be kind of along that line. Um, where I can kind of have a little bit of everything. Um, so yes, uh, I know this is a short video and I apologize, but I just wanted to, oh, I was so excited to get started on this. I wanted to show you guys where I was. So please be sure to check out Dot's Inspirational Shop. Make sure you check out Miss Jackie. I will link them both down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, stay creative. Be blessed. Stay safe, guys. Um, and like I said, you know, if we're all going to be in our houses, why not get crafting, right? So let's get crafting. Let's get creative. Let's think outside our box. Do something new. And even if we mess up along the way, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's how we learn. So I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye now.